In many organizations today, self-service business discovery starts off with a few key developers and analysts driving down the highway, developing applications to share with BI consumers. Then the consumers start editing apps and sharing them with more users, and the lack of guardrails steers them off course. Without guardrails to control the process, data movement, data definitions, and authorization, accidents happen rapidly and continuously impede progress in making decisions. Consequently, users find alternate routes leading to duplicated effort complicated maintenance, and multiple sources of the truth. ClickSense Governed Self-Service delivers the ability to monitor application-governed content, customized role-based access, and capability controls, reduce data from authorized data connections, provides metric subscription to standardized dimensions and measures across applications, and application lifecycle tools to assist workflow and application promotion from development to production. The Govern platform provides users with the freedom of movement they need to author and analyze business intelligence applications while instituting guardrails to keep traffic flowing in an orderly and organized fashion. To design and deploy a Govern self-service solution, it is a top priority to identify the use cases and user types leveraging the platform. Most customers we work with at Click have four primary use cases for self-service business intelligence in their organization. There may be more, but these are ones our customers discuss the most. The first is the consumer. The consumer use case is the most common and basic use case representing the highest volume of users. This user consumes applications created for them by IT or the line of business contributors and developers, taking advantage of the associative experience Click provides in a guided fashion with some ability to create personal bookmarks and possibly personal sheets. Contributors are consumers with a longer leash. While their way of working leans heavily on consumption, the contributor is the user at the second layer of self-service, where the underlying app remains prepared, but the contributor tailors the experience to their needs and the needs of others, using provided master library items to create new sheets, stories, and bookmarks they can make available to the community without disrupting the base application. Developers create apps from the data model through sheet visualization and story creation using master library items from centralized sources. Sometimes developers work in isolation, but one of the promises of self-service is for multiple developers to collaborate on application development. The GSS framework enables multi-developer workflows using approval tools to promote sheets, stories, and more from the community to base application content. Department admins make sure the lights stay on for their teams, but it is imperative that they are able to manage and administer only the department content for which they have responsibility. The GSS framework implements controls so that individual admins can focus on the content and resources that matter to their teams. Now, I'll take a few minutes to show you the differences in these user experiences for each of these personas. Today, I'm using iPortal to test my Govern self-service deployment, and we'll get into it more when we talk about power tools. First off, Eddie the consumer. I'm going to click on the Hub button for Eddie, and when I arrive, I'm greeted with the Everyone stream and the Sales stream. Notice how the My Work option is missing. Eddie is a consumer, so the access control system prevents him from being able to create new apps. I click on the sales stream and open the sales application Eddie has access to view. In the app, I'm able to navigate and make selections. And if I click on the stories icon, I'm able to review existing base stories, but not create my own. When I click on the bookmarks icon, Eddie is able to create bookmarks. With the granular access control functionality of ClickSense security rules, I'm able to specify what Eddie can see and what Eddie can do with an app. In this case, Eddie being a consumer gives him access to interact with an application to make selections, but he is unable to create any content other than bookmarks to save selections for future navigation. To demonstrate a contributor, I'll log in as Lisa Denton. Lisa is a member of the marketing team and has access to the customer experience app in the marketing stream. When Lisa opens the app, the overview screen shows Lisa has the ability to create sheets. 
She has one sheet in her work area now. I'm going to create another sheet and add some content. Now I'll click on that sheet name and right click on the sheet I've created and choose Publish. I'll confirm that I wish to publish this content. When I log in as another user with access to the Customer Experience app, I'll see that the sheet appears in the Community section of the App Overview. In this example, capabilities control through security rules dictate what Lisa can do in the apps she has access to. In her case, Lisa can contribute to the general audience of the Customer Experience app by creating sheets, stories, and bookmarks she believes are useful to others. Continuing to build on the capabilities of the personas we've been talking about, I'm going to impersonate Paul Harris. Paul is a developer who needs to create a new executive dashboard application. Paul creates the new executive dashboard app and clicks the load data button. Clicking on the connections button at the top of the screen, Paul sees he has access to the sales data folder. Paul adds the QVD files to his data model and reloads the application. Paul's next step is to add some governed metrics from his central metrics repository to the app so designers may begin to create sheets and visualizations with the app. Paul creates a sheet and adds the GMS applicator extension. Govern metrics from the extension, Paul picks the sales option from the drop down list and clicks apply metrics. The extension reaches into the govern metrics application and uses the govern metrics service to add dimensions and measures to the master library of the application. Paul is ready to begin designing some visualizations or publish the app to enable other designers and developers to create content. Before Paul ends his day, he has one more task to complete. If you recall when Lisa was logged in, she created a sheet in the Customer Experience app and published it to the community. Lisa has requested Paul add the sheet to the base sheets of the Customer Experience app so that all users, including consumers, can see this content. Paul launches the QMC utilities and goes into the app object approver. Paul searches for Lisa's sheet and goes ahead and approves it. Now the sheet she created is part of the base application. I've covered a lot in this scenario. I introduced a couple of additional tools that add standard dimensions and measures via subscription and help facilitate workflows for multiple developers working on the same app. We're going to discuss these tools in more detail a little later when we talk about power tools. But the point is the developer has a lot of power and control, but only has as much necessary to do their job. In this use case, Paul had access to a single data connection for loading data. The governed self-service guardrails control the data he's allowed to access for app creation, but he also has the ability to perform some light management and workflow oper operations to support contributors and other developers collaborating on application development. Let's spend a minute talking about the department admin. Jeremy is a department admin for finance. He's responsible to making sure app refreshes run on time and resources specific to finance are available to those with the correct access control rights. Jeremy spends most of his time in the QMC, but he may use QMC utilities as well to help gather metadata and perform backups and restores of applications from a source control environment. I'm going to log into QMC utilities as Jeremy. And the first menu item I click is the real QMC. The real QMC is the actual QMC with Jeremy's access privileges. From here, Jeremy can access the components of the QMC he has rights to and confirm the resources he is responsible for are all working properly. Jeremy recently received a request to back up the Travel Expenses app. To do that, he's going to click on the Source Control Assistant in QMC Utilities. Notice how the Source Control tool shows only the Travel app for backup. This is because the QMC utilities leverage the ClickSense security model to provide access control to content and resources. Therefore, 
While more than one app exists on the server, Jeremy is only able to access this one for backup and restore. Now Jeremy wants to audit the use of Govern Metrics in the apps the finance team has created. He opens the Govern Metrics app where he can take the, a site-based view of Govern Metrics deployed and drill into his department. In addition, the GMA identifies opportunities for user-created master library definitions to become centralized Govern Metrics by measuring usage across the apps in the deployment. Once again, the access and capability controls ClickSense provides through security rules enable decentralized content management and administration. Department admins have limited access to QMC and see only the resources for the department they are associated with. Here is another example of the roles for a ClickSense site. They incorporate many of the personas we've talked about today and include additional roles to fill out the deployment. The root admin owns the configuration and infrastructure of a deployment. Their job is to make sure the deployment is up and running and remains healthy. It is important they have no access to data or applications with sensitive data. The designer takes an application data model published by the developer and creates the sheets, stories, bookmarks, and other content contributors and consumers will use in their analysis. The designer creates, but does not have final say on the contents of the base application. The developer handles that through the application lifecycle through approval tools, like the app object approver that we demonstrated earlier. The analyst sits between the contributor and the consumer. They are like the consumer plus role because they can create additional personal content like sheets and stories to further their analysis, but they are unable to share it with the community because what they create is sensitive and or not applicable to other application users. After identifying the roles of users and what their capabilities will entail in a governed self-service environment, it's time to start configuring the guardrails that will protect the platform while maintaining flexibility. ClickSense operates under the construct that users are able to perform actions on resources in a ClickSense deployment. Access control is granted to users with security rules. Security rules determine who and what users can take action in a ClickSense deployment. Security rules are defined using a mixture of custom properties built inside ClickSense, roles defined in security rules, and attribute information imported from user directory connectors or during user sessions. Managing access typically leverages group attributes from an external directory, reducing the workload for configuring a governed self-service deployment and simplifying administration by leveraging existing directory service process and systems to grant access. There are many ways to do this, but the point we are making here is that the group level management of rules, security groups, and properties will always result in less work and more flexibility. ClickSense is uniquely positioned to meet any security needs while maintaining flexible group level management of rules. Now that we know who is going to use the system and how they are going to be governed, let's take a look at what is available as a reference to learn and practice Click Govern Self Service. The ClickSense Govern Self Service Reference Deployment is a deployable example of the framework we are discussing today. The GSS comprises four components to kickstart your journey. The iPortal impersonation interface is a great tool for testing the result of security rule implementation in a ClickSense deployment. The GSS configuration provides best practice and a template set of rules to use to configure and deliver governed self-service. The Govern Metrics service is a REST API that connects to your central repository of dimensions and measures and delivers these metrics to all of your ClickSense applications. Lastly, the QMC Utilities is a set of tools to help manage application lifecycle, multi-developer workflows, and administrative enhancements to the QMC. Tying it all together, ClickSense delivers Govern Self Service with roles you can create and customize to author, contribute to, and collaborate on ClickSense applications. 
The guardrails for the different roles are controlled by security rules that leverage security groups from existing directory services in the enterprise and custom properties managed in ClickSense. The iPortal is a tool for testing the results of the security rules, and the GSS configuration provides examples for establishing your governed self-service deployment. The Govern Metric service integrates with your central repository of metrics and ClickSense to deliver governed definitions for dimensions and measures to ClickSense applications. QMC Utilities exposes additional management and workflow capabilities to support multi-developer scenarios and application lifecycle procedures. Together, the ClickSense Govern Self-Service Reference Deployment is a set of tools and guiding principles to deploy a flexible and governed business intelligence solution in the enterprise. Ready to get started with Govern Self-Service and ClickSense? Visit Click Community and go to the Govern Self-Service and EA Power Tools group pages. From there, you can download all of the information you've seen today to get started.